Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wookie, and I'm back with another Fake Grand Order video. Because today I wanted to talk about the JP version of the game, because they had some stuff coming in for the 28th. Um, some of this stuff is not starting until the March 2nd, but I kind of wanted to talk about it because it's kind of interesting what they've got going on here. So, if you don't know, on the JP side of the game, it's two years ahead, so let's go ahead and talk about it, huh? So, on the pre-release campaign, if I remember right, is there anything here that... It was warranted to talk about. No, not really. Okay, so here's the main thing that I've got going, which is this event called White Day Spectacles. First of all, if you're someone who likes saving, it looks like finally Arjuna Altar is coming back. Um, chances are for a rerun. Uh, and if he's not, it's a real dick thing of them to do because he's got like a new fancy outfit. <laughs> so if he doesn't get a rerun, then all they're doing is releasing an outfit for a unit that's only been released once in the... Th <laughs> two years that he's been out um one of the longest units to go without a banner especially nowadays that seems like most of them have been kind of be getting released but yeah here he is in his studio student council president outfit uh and then also there's like 13 servants who are just getting glasses added to them to add to the costumes everyone's looking pretty swanky and then we have the it's not looking very it's not very cash money of you karna uh yeah so master with glasses just the big glasses so here we go during the event sports uh this is when they'll be uh, available i guess for stuff but anyway here's the thing that i want to talk about because it's actually very interesting and i actually don't think i haven't pulled them up here let me go find them real quick here we go so there's an npc servant in this um event which is right here, Michael. And based off of basically everything, we've determined that he's on the silhouette. Um, here's the thing. As far as we can tell, we actually don't know what the banner is going to be for this event at all. <laughs> like, at all? It's really weird, because they basically have announced, yeah, here is all the servants, it's going to be all the men, some, like, you know, glasses-wearing people are going to get a bonus too. I can't remember the last time they did this, where they just released an event and then just didn't say who the banner unit was going to be. So, I don't really have any idea what uh, Michael could potentially be. I think someone said, I've seen various things from like, could be Michael the um, Archangel um, up to Michael Jackson. Like, there's so many Michaels that there could be in history and in fiction and everything that it could be literally anyone. Um, so this is kind of like looking it's really weird yeah it's just really weird that they've done it like this and it's also so it makes it seem like him him they specifically say this is an npc coming in here so there's one of two things that's going to happen either there's a part two to the banner which is going to feature this man right here or sometime in 2022 he's going to be released as a unit because this silhouette is actually very specific, saying that all the ones revealed here are servants and also will be released in 2022 at some point. They just don't say when. Uh, it's really weird. I want to know why they would do... Like, it makes sense. Like, yay. Arjuna, maybe they didn't want to compete with a potential Arjuna Alter coming back. Because he's definitely the main head of it here. He has his own outfit. He has his own everything. So maybe it's a case of just like they didn't really want to they didn't want to like divide attention like obviously if they've kind of messed up if you don't know Arjuna Alter is one of the best berserkers in the game and arguably one of the best units in the game in general though funny enough I think uh, most people in Japan have used Morgan over him uh, nowadays so maybe it's a little bit defunct but in terms of if you need a buster gorilla he's still the best buster gorilla out there. Um, Definitely, yes, definitely sure on that one. So maybe they felt like no matter what we do, either he's he's the main focus, so he should get a rerun. If we do his rerun first, then people will maybe complain that there's no actual new unit, even though he is a unit coming back who has not had a banner in two years, over two years. Um, so that would be an easy way for us to kind of be like, it's not technically a new unit, but it is a unit that a lot of people have been asking and wanting to come back for a while. And if they did put this guy right here, Michael, as the main servant and they put him in a part one, he would be immediately overshadowed by the fact that they have a Arjuna Alter skin in here, which would make everyone assume that we are getting a Arjuna Alter uh, rerun banner at some point. 
So I think that's the most likely case. Or maybe there's the other case if they just have not finished him. And if they decided just like, hey, later on in the year, we can release a man unit whenever we really want. And it's fine. It's just really weird at the forefront looking at it kind of going like that. I think it was a light with a lot of people. Because, you know, the, believe it or not, there are ladies who play Fago And they want men. And they are maybe the most... I think the most, uh, not disrespected isn't the right word, but the most longing carrot people in the entirety of Fago are the fans of cool men and or hot men, depending on which one you prefer. Um, it's really tough because it's so many things release so many times it's usually just a waifu. And as a fan of waifus, there's no problem with that for me. I love it. But if you're actually someone who's like, can you release a man? The men that actually get released are on a net negative. Which is funny because Oberon was released and he's like one of the most popular units in the entire damn game. Like he's overshadowed everything. So there's, and he's made a lot of money for the game as well. So you can look at it in two ways. Either, um, it, it, Oberon basically breaks the myth of men servant one aren't as popular as a female, which is a lie because he's 10 times as popular as a lot of newer female servants. And two, they don't sell, which is also a lie because he has one of the highest, um, when his banner released, it was one of the most ones that made the most money, if that makes sense. Yeah, sometimes my words get a little kerfuckled in the middle of the sentence, but you're getting what I'm saying here. So it's really weird to do a Valentine's Day that is all men focused and then not release a new one, but I think it actually makes a little bit more sense, um, if you look at it in the, the view of like, we've kind of created an accidental problem for ourselves. We do have a new unit plan, but also we have our Juno Altar. And we have this issue where we feel like our Juno Altar, because it's been so long since he's returned, he's gonna kind of take the main focus off of everything. And it would basically overshadow this guy if he's not amazing or well loved or something like that. So maybe it makes a little bit more sense to save him for a part two. And if they don't do part two, it's like, well, later down the road, once we've built up to see how well liked he is, because there's also a lot of other factors. There's never, they, the, the funny thing about the silhouette servants is that there's no confer confirmation of whether they are a, what star they are. So he could be a five star, he could be a four star, he could be a three star, he could be a two star, he could be a one star, he could be a no star, because those exist as well. We just don't know. Um, there's just so many like unknown unknowns that we can do here. So they could definitely do a thing of like, maybe they're waiting to see how things are going to play out. But to be funny enough, I don't really think Fago is a kind of... I don't think the devs think that far ahead, but maybe it's changed since Lasagna has taken over Fago since then. But yeah, that's basically what I want to talk about. I think that's basically the only thing that... They also did add a, a thing in here, which is exclusive to this event, where you can have two people in my room at the same time. And only during this event, which is just silly. <laughs> they should just have that be a thing in general and not keep it to here. Um, but yeah, I think that's basically all I wanted to say on this. I just thought it was very interesting, very weird. I wanted to kind of think about it. Oh, here's the other thing that's actually nice that they did because this is, this is happening. They released a bone version of the CE. So now it's easier for you to get some more bones, the baleful bone mound. So feel free to get more bones in two years. But there you go. If you're someone who is uh, waiting to take advantage of the pity system that is coming eventually, and you're planning far ahead, this is again mostly NA. If you're on JP I, and you're looking for a cool man, I think you just gotta wait. I think that's the real answer. If you want a new man, and if you want this man, you're just gonna have to wait a little bit <laughs> longer. But I think one is coming out. Either part two or they decide to just completely do him later in 2022. But either way, he is coming. Um, unless they, it turns out this isn't actually him and it's a an amazing it's a dude who just like looks exactly like him for some reason uh and the reason i keep calling him an npc is because on the live stream they made it very clear there's an npc in the story and then everyone was like why the hell would you add an npc <laughs> when there's so many other men servants you could do it just doesn't make sense to have him as the main spotlight if he's just going to be a forever non-playable character but then once people actually looked at him and i think he actually has an artist uh, who I cannot remember the name of at the moment, but he's a known artist of stuff, so... Definitely, definitely look, well, something the... So definitely something coming in the future. There you go. 
Anyway, that's the end of the video, everyone. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you liked it. If you do, feel free to like, leave a like, because it helps me out a whole bunch. And also, you can leave down below what you think of this specifically. If you're on JP, what do you think? Do you think that, in general, that you would have been fine if <laughs> the worst-case scenario... Not the worst-case scenario. I guess... Hmm... Would you have preferred just Arjuna Alter and him sharing the same banner at the same time and just kind of being late? I honestly, with the pity and the way it works now, I think that's a bad setup nowadays. I think it would prefer it. But now that I think about it, I think his banner is going to rotate with all the men servants this year. So you're still not going to get the most ideal setting for um, summoning on pity unless you do it all on this specific day or wait till the last day. So maybe there was no reason for them to really do that. Hmm. Hmm. Think about it. But either way, if you're. As someone who is a big fan of manservants and you want to feel, let your feelings be known, go for it. The only reason I even want to talk about this is because I know for a fact that there's a lot of people in the specific community who want more men. And I'm usually fine with some men dudes, uh, depending on what kind of man. Uh, I am definitely biased towards the women, of course, but that doesn't mean I don't like a cool man. Uh, like Kentoki, he's cool. He's really cool. Look at him. He's got the, the big bulging muscles. Who doesn't like that? I'm getting off track. And to <laughs> leave a comment if you have any feelings towards that. Subscribe to me if you want some more uh, video stuff. And I'll see you guys in the next time. Alright. Have a good day. Have a good night. Goodbye.